Hello and welcome to another edition of Executive Corner Expert Talks. My name is James Preston and today I'll be taking a deep dive into the metals and minerals space, specifically by having a chat with the Managing Director of Australasian Metals, Dr. Chin Tao Zhang. Dr. Zhang, thank you so much for being here with me today. Thanks for having me. Now, first and foremost, let's get a bit of an insight into your company. What exactly is the focus of Australasian Metals? So, Australasian Metals Limited was listed in 2021, May. That's only one year and two months ago. And uh, all our projects in Australia, there's only two commodities we are focusing on, lithium and gold. We think we have the best commodity in this current market. And uh, we have a small team and we run the company like our own, which is I'm the major shareholder and the managing director as well. And uh, we find Australia is the best jurisdiction to do the exploration and mining. And we are very fortunate to be here. And so far, obviously, it's been uh, an interesting journey for you. You, of course, began looking at gold specifically, but then decided to change tact and focus a bit more on lithium. Can you take me through that process? Um, I was very fortunate that I got involved in the lithium space very early, since 2016. Mm. And I run my private business, which is sell and put the sales and purchase contract together for the sodium and concentrate between Australian major lithium miners and their counterparty in China. So I noticed this lithium uh, price has been going crazy since for, uh, early 2021. So that's where I started looking for good lithium projects. I think we are several sta sta uh, steps earlier than the, than the peers. And also in the current world, the e-way, the energy storage, all need lithium. There's two fundamentals which I think lithium uh, mining industry will be keep being strong for a long time. One is the fact that lithium is the lightest metal. So that fundamental chemical feature decided, dictate that lithium always be a preferred element to be used in batteries because they have the higher energy density and very light. Second thing is for anything in the battery business, to any potential replacement for lithium batteries, they need at least two or three decades to come into the current commercial scale like lithium batteries. So I'm very positive in long term for lithium and for short term in the next six or 12 months, I think there's only limited potential suppliers coming online, but the demand is enormous. I think it's really strong in short term and long term for, uh, for lithium. Well, you're talking about demand and supply there. Obviously, there are a bunch of other junior competitors in the lithium space. How do you separate yourself from the pack, though? I think there are several things I would like to emphasize. One thing is the team, the people. We have a good management team, and we have delivered major transactions in this space. And especially, I mean, I have to press my own home. <laughs> I, have in this, I have been working in this space for a long time. I know the major players. And most importantly, we have fantastic asset in Northern Territory. Mm. Just to uh, recap, the ground in Mountain Peak was used to be owned by Core Lithium. They dropped that when the lithium was really tough in the end of 2020. So we picked that free for our shareholders. And since then, we have done a lot of work, including geological mapping in the surface, soil geochemistry, survey cover the hot area. Just to give you an overall view, Core Lithium still have some ground to our northwest, mm. two kilometers, 2.7 kilometers away from our boundary. They have 15 samples over 1%, some of them over 4.3% lithium in the surface, mm. several dikes so trending now uh, south, e southeast, northwest. In our ground, we have managed to identify two samples, which has 1.6% lithium, 1.15% lithium. Both have over 200 ppm tantalum credit. Wow. So that's around eight kilometers along strike in this region. And six of that eight is within our ground. So I think we have a great asset great potential to define some good size lithium mineralizations in our ground. And also, 
we've been working with CSRO, which has a leading scientific technology, help us to zoom down to the uh, good area. And also, lately, we got this grant from Northern Territory Government, which we are very grateful. And they basically co-fund our diamond drilling. We are doing exploration in Greenfield. It's high risk. But with the government support, with those scientific institutions give us big weapons we can try out in our ground, I think we have better chance to succeed. And that's where we sit for oscillation metals. Is there a specific goal you have or a target that you'd like to reach in relation to your lithium exploration? I think for a lithium project, a mining project, to deliver products in Australia, we are looking at three, four or five years easily. Mm. But to define a deposit through exploration works, you need to go through several steps. But right now, we have some early wins with some surface high-grade uh, samples identified. Right now, we need to define the scale. And only you make discovery when, we drill, when you drill. How we can have a good drilling target, that's the fundamental works, the preparations, the understandings about the structures. That's what we are doing right now. We, have, we are going to release the soil geochemistry data very soon around these high-grade high uh, near-surface uh, uh, samples. If we can say there's a good footprint, indicate a scale, indicate there could be something, a bigger uh, mineralization between core lithium ground and ore ground, I think that gives us the great confidence for us to drill. I think that also give your shareholders quite a lot of confidence too, but uh, we're talking quite a bit here about the Northern Territory. Let's also look at your other areas. Obviously, Queensland and Western Australia are two focal points for you. What projects are you engaging in in those regions? Yes, that's a very good question. We focus on lithium in Northern Territory, including Mountain Peak and Barrow Creek. Give us together over 1,600 kilometer square land to explore. That's for lithium. And for our gold, we have two major projects in Queensland, um, uh, May Queen and Claremont. Lately, we have announced the high-grade intersections, good width, 26 meters at 3.88 gram per ton gold in uh, our uh, Capella project, Capella perspective, Perspex within the Mount, Peak pro uh, Mount Claremont project. And I can tell you, the previous explorers trying to repeat this high-grade many times, but we got the luck. Right now, the key question is how we can target specifically on those high-grade shoes. So we need to understand more in the structure geology uh, perspective. So we have intersect the seek high-grade mineralization, mm. but how we can find more along these major structures in Capella, that's the focus of our current work. And once we unlock that puzzle, we have a great potential to build up a near-surface high-grade gold mineralization in our Capella project, which will be a great asset for our shareholders. So does gold feature quite heavily for your company moving forward? Is that still a key focus of Australasian metals, or is it more the lithium at this point? I would think we will keep the lithium and gold that all are uh, the major focus, although we don't uh, explore others, just the lithium and gold. Yeah. And, and I think the other thing with that as well, I mean, you know, you've got a streamlined focus, you've also got quite a small team too, which is a very smart operating procedure for your shareholders. I mean, you realistically only have a few people involved in these certain regions and then you bring in subcontractors, is that correct? Yeah, that's how, we, how, we, how it works. And uh, I just want to remind you, we only have 52 million share on ISU, mm. and given the current share price, we are around maybe 11, 12 million dollars market cap. But we still have five million dollars cash in the bank, and we are have a really low EUA. That gave us a great opportunity to say any real expression success will give us a good sh sh share price run. So that's why I think we distinguish among other players is we know the commodity really well, we have a strong team, and we all our asset in Australia, really good jurisdiction, we are all enjoying the, 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 the land. 
and we got a lot of support from government, from the scientific institution like CSIRO. I think we are well positioned to move forward in this junior market. And I know for a fact you've been enjoying the land. You've uh, recently had this shave, but you're out there looking like one of the bushmen <laughs> in yes. the Northern Territory. I have been uh, yeah, working in the bush for, for a while and just, uh, yeah, I forgot my shave merchant. <laughs> <laughs> it, look, me too. It's, it's fine. Um, let's, let's take a look at the financials of the company. I mean, you mentioned the share price there is probably in a good position to have a bit of a run potentially if things go your way. Yep. But let's talk about the financials over the, the course of the past few years. Obviously, you've got that $5 million in the bank. Yep. You've got a market value of $11 million. How have you seen things growing since you first established the company? Uh, we did our IPO in the... 13th of May 2021. That's my. That's the first company I listed in the stock market. We raised the money at 20 cents, mm -hmm. and when we switch into we we have the lithium asset, uh, we have a really good run. Uh, uh, a peak at uh, 92.5 cents, and we raised the money from at 45 cents from two converters in China, which are lithium converters, which are the natural buyer for the, spot, for the lithium concentrate we, if we can produce in our project. Um, and they are not for the short term gain. They want to fit with us to see how the project goes. If we come into a good shape, I, I don't think the access to capital is a problem for us. I mean, I have done a lot of uh, deals in this space. So uh, we are well supported. Um, so right now we're only like 25 cents. I think it's really undervalued. I would like to, yeah, with your help, with all those uh, promotions <laughs> we're doing, we'll, we'll recover very quickly. Hopefully, hopefully so. Yeah. Um, now, of course, we're halfway through 2022, the 2022 financial year wrapped though for now. What are the rest of the goals for the calendar year though? So uh, with the Mountain Peak Lithium project, we are in the process of us, uh, applying the permit to drill. I know you, we already are well advanced and uh, we got this grant from NT government to give us $160,000 to co-fund the program. So hopefully by the end, by the second half of the year, after we've done more the targeting exercises, mm -hmm. we lock in the target and we'll start drilling in Mount Peak the second half of this year. And for the gold, because we just uh, reviewed the results from Capella, which is a high uh, high-grade long intersection of uh, gold mineralization, we want to follow it up with more diamond drilling. So we'll be very active in this space and again we'll run as a small budget to deliver the meters to deliver the target for our shareholders. It certainly sounds like profits are on the horizon. Just before I let you go Dr. Zhang, any final thoughts you'd like to leave with with your investors and also with our audience today? Um, I think there's over, uh, uh, I would think, 30 or 50 juniors explorers in the lithium space, in, in, in especially lithium. I think if you want to pick up the right uh, company, um, you have to balance a lot of things. That's the reason I think Australasian Metals is well provisioned in the, among the peers because we know the space, we have very tight capital structures, and we have all the projects in Australia really good jurisdictions, and we have, uh, will be very active in the second half of this year. So if you pick any stocks in the small market space, AAG would be the choice. Love it, love it. Dr. Zhang, thank you so much for being here with me today. Thank you. And now all the best moving forward for Australasian Metals. Thank you very much. Well, that's Dr. Zhang, the Managing Director of Australasian Metals. And if you missed any part of that chat, you can catch the full conversation on our YouTube channel, so make sure to subscribe. I'm James Preston, reminding you to stay apprised and invest wise with Kaokai Media.